My name is Tom, I'm uh, 29 years old and uh, last year I started having uh, back problems and it started with just pain in my back uh, which gradually got worse and worse and um, it went down <coughs> down my leg um, through the buttock all the way down to my to my toes and uh, uh, most likely it happened in the gym I think I mean, it wasn't something that happened overnight it was um, I think it, it was just getting worse and worse gradually and um, but it was it was basically full on sciatica I would say and uh, I tried different treatments so I tried uh, physiotherapy acupuncture and acupressure and uh, osteopathy as well nothing seemed to uh, to work long term for me so um, I found I found out about IDD treatment and uh, um, I just decided it's probably a good idea to uh, to try so um, I had uh, my first treatment in uh, in May uh, 2013 and uh, had a session I think I felt that was the first session then and then I had um, I think five or six treatments which made the my pain a little bit worse but I just kind of developed pain in, in, in my muscles which was just getting a little bit worse but I decided to uh, to carry on uh, and um, and I think it was after the uh, seventh or eighth treatment that I started noticing a difference I mean I was I was really bad before I before I came here so um, virtually anything caused pain so coughing, sneezing, couldn't walk too fast, just had to do everything ten, ten times slower. And um, I mean, it, it, it definitely I mean, it affected almost every aspect of my life. Could, so, could you sleep? How was you sleep? I, I could sleep, but there were only certain positions in which I could sleep. So, mm. so waking up in the morning was really bad as well. So that, that's when the pain was, was the worst. And uh, um, I was really, I was really depressed. I mean, at that time, and, and uh, it seriously affected my social life and, 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 and mm. my professional life as well. And uh, um, so, were you, so, were you nervous about coming for treatment? I mean, I was having had different treatments. Um, you know, I wasn't really nervous about it because I, well, I've, I've read a lot about it, and 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 uh, I just kind of found out that it's. It's well, relatively safe, and and, and there's you know, didn't really find, well read anything about it being dangerous or anything. So, um, especially you know after the first treatment, mm. I just felt that you know it didn't make things worse, much worse. Mm. How did it feel during the actual treatment? Um, the day, it I mean? felt it's, it's it's actually very relaxing, and, mm. and I, I you don't really, I mean you don't you're not in pain or anything. Mm. So so um yeah so I it's actually quite pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so the uh, the first treatments I had, um, they are uh, well. I just you know after the seventh one, I I realised that um, it it is making a difference, mm. and, and I could finally you know, sneeze and, and laugh and cough without without any pain, which was amazing. So, so the high pollen count wasn't good for your back pain. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yes, so, uh, <laughs> the, the hay fever didn't help. Right. So. Um, and uh, I, I decided to carry on with mm. the treatment. I mean, uh, I wasn't sure, it, you know, when, when my symptoms got a little bit worse during the treatment, I wasn't sure if, I'm, if I should carry on. But, mm. um, but Sally, my therapist, um, she encouraged me to do it, and, and, and that was the right decision, I mm. think. So, um, so it, was, it was getting better and better mm. after that. And, uh, um, so kind of getting out and about was a bit easier or? I mean, it was much easier and, 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 and walking and, and you know those little things that you start mm. noticing about you know things that you couldn't do before the treatment mm. so and I think I only realized how bad I was when I got better so <laughs> right. so it was it, you know it, it really made a difference so mm. um, did you go back to the gym or did you have some I, any exercise or kind I, of what I started things did... doing very light exercise so right um, I probably, you know, shouldn't do jogging or running anymore. Mm. But but I can do um, a cross trainer and and the uh, 
um, swimming and things like that. So uh, right. I'm trying, to, trying to avoid heavy weight liftings, especially standing. <laughs> but uh, so uh, so yeah, so you know that I I can honestly say I got my life back mm. because it was really. So how long has it been? And how long has it been since you had your kind of last, uh, you know, your last treatment? So I had my last treatment. I think it was the beginning of July. Right. So we're now in November. So uh, end of October. We're now in, yes. And uh, and it, yeah, I mean, since since then it's it's been amazing. And when I think about it and I look back, and it, it's made such a huge difference. Mm. And. Uh, I mean, it, it really, I feel much better and then much happier and, and um, still sometimes think about it, how bad it was and I, I, I can't, you know, believe that there were things, like simple things, like, you know, sitting, just didn't realise realize it could cause so much pain <laughs> and, and it really did. So, um, so it's, yeah, it's just incredible to, uh, to be able to sit at work and, and you know, without having any pain. So mm. I think, you know, it just also teaches you to um, appreciate those little things mm. in life, which, you know, we don't really think about very often. So mm. so I'm much better now, definitely, and I can, you know, the, I can walk as fast as I, as I want, and uh, I sleep without any pain. I wake up in the morning and then can have a shower. There's absolutely no pain. Mm. So it's it's... Yeah, it's amazing. And, and uh, can I ask you, how has um, Sally been with you? Anything for Sally and she's been very, She's been very supportive. She's a very well experienced hmm. uh, osteopath. And, uh, and she's, she's, she's very kind, and very, very nice, and very, a very warm person, I think. Uh, and that also helps, I think, with, with treatment. You really need someone like that, especially when you're feeling slightly down. And, hmm. So, yeah, she's been amazing.